thing x squared minus 25 is equal to 0 ano kaya ang number na kapag i-times mo sa kanyang sarili at bawasan mo ng 25 ang sagot ay 0 yan ang ibig sabihin ng number 1 number 2 2x squared minus 32 is equal to 0 ano kaya ang number ito ano kaya ang number na kapag i-times mo sa kanyang sarili at saka i-times mo sa 2 pagkatapos bawasan mo ng 32 ang sagot ay 0 then number 3 ano kaya ang number x squared minus 10 is equal to 6 ano kaya ang number na kapag i-times mo sa kanyang sarili at bawasan mo ng 10 ang sagot ay 6 ok welcome back sa ating channel today we will discuss mathematics 9 solving quadratic equations ok a number is the root of a quadratic equation if when the number is substituted for the variables the equations become a true statement masasabi natin na ang roots or a solution of a quadratic equation ay tama kung o kapag ipalit natin doon sa variable at saka isolve natin ang statement ay totoo or magiging true ang ating statement in solving quadratic equations marami tayong method first by extracting square root second by factoring then third by completing the squares at saka ang last is yung by using quadratic formula ok yan ang makikita sa inyong module extracting square root unahin muna natin yan dahil hindi natin kayang tapusin lahat or, or pag-aralan lahat yung four methods on solving quadratic equations okay, quadratic equations that can be transformed in the form x squared is equals to k can be solved by applying the properties ayan makikita yung mga properties natin yung number one k is greater than 0 kapag yung value ng k natin is mas mataas pa sa 0 alam naman natin yan yan yung mga positive numbers or positive integers then magiging dalawa ang ating solution or roots that is x is equals to plus or minus the square root of k then second is k if k is equals to 0 Kapag yung k natin ay equals to 0, automatic na yan. Yung x natin ay, or yung roots natin ay isa lang at saka equal to 0. Then number 3, if k is less than 0, yung k natin ay mas mababa sa 0. Yan yung mga negative numbers. Then the equations x squared is equals to k has no real solutions. Walang solution. The method of solving a quadratic equations, x squared is equal to k, is called extracting square roots. The square root method is used in solving incomplete quadratic equations of the form x squared is equal to c, when c is a non-negative integer. Okay, magamit natin yung square root method sa mga quadratic equations na incomplete, yung walang B or 0 ang value ng ating B ok, meron tayong examples dyan solve for the roots of x squared minus 25 is equals to 0, ang dyan ang kanyang solution, magkikita ninyo but before we proceed kailangan maging familiarize kayo dito sa mga numbers na ito 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, and 169. Anong meron sa mga numbers na yan? Okay, itong mga numbers na ito, yan yung mga numbers na perfect square. Tignan ninyo, itong 49, 7 times 7, then 13 times 13. 5 times 5 equals 25, then 4 times 4 equals 16, 10 times 10 equals to 100 then 
8 times 8 is equals to 64. Okay, lahat ng yan ay mga perfect square. Kapag familiar kayo sa mga numbers na yan, mas madali ninyong masolve ang ating or matutunan ang ating extracting square root na method on solving quadratic equations. Okay, balikan natin yung kanina. X squared minus 25 is equals to 0. Ano kaya ang number na nasa likod ng X na yan na kapag i-times mo sa kanyang sarili at bawasan mo ng 25, ang sagot ay 0. Okay, ganito yan. Kapag ilipat natin, itraspose natin yung negative 25 from left side of the equation to the right side of the equation, mag-change ang kanyang sign. Kaya magiging x squared is equals to positive 25. Okay, ngayon ang equation natin ay nandun na siya sa form na x squared is equals to k. Kapag ganyan ng ating, ano, ganyan, ganyan ng form ng ating equation, ipapasok na natin sa radical sign yung 25. Tapos sa labas yung plus or minus. Ito naman ay isang x na lang yung lalabas. Then x is equals to plus or minus by square root of 25. Then x is equals to plus or minus anong number anong nag-isang number na kapag i-times mo sa kaling sarili ang sagot ay 25 it is 5 therefore x sub 1 natin is equals to positive 5 and x sub 2 is equals to negative 5 dahil negative 5 times negative 5 is equals to positive 25 then positive 5 times positive 5 is equals to 25 Okay, i-check natin. From the original equation, that is x squared minus 25. Yung x natin kanina, x is equals to 5. Then, palitan natin yung x ng, kasi ang sabi niya, yung x daw is equals to positive. Therefore, palitan natin yung x ng 5. Then, 5 squared minus 25 is equals to 0. Then, 5 times 5, ang ibig sabihin niyan ay dalawang 5 yung 8 times. Magiging 25 minus 25 is equals to 0. And 0 is equals to 0. Ibig sabihin, tama. Ang value ng x is positive 5. Okay, kapag ang value naman ng ating x is equals to negative 5, ganun pa rin. Palitan pa rin natin yung x ng negative 5. Negative 5, ipasok natin sa open at sa close parenthesis, then squared minus 25 is equals to 0. Then negative 5 times negative 5 is equals to positive 25, then minus 25 is equals to 0. Then 0 is equals to 0. Ibig sabihin, it is correct. The value of x is also negative 5. Okay, number 2. 2x squared minus 32 is equals to 0. Anong number kaya kapag i-times mo sa kanyang sarili, ito, pagkatapos i-times mo sa 2, at bawasan mo ng 32, ang sagot ay 0. Okay, ganun pa rin yung gagawin natin. I-transpose natin yung negative 32 from left side of the equation to the right side of the equation. Then, magiging... 2x squared is equals to yung negative na sign ng 32 ay magiging positive. Okay. Ngayon, mayroon siyang numerical coefficient. Hindi pa natin siyang pwedeng ipasok sa radical sign. Kasi yung kailangan ay magiging ganyan ang ating equation. Yung x na lang. Then, Para mawala yung 2, i-divide natin siya ng 2. At dahil nag-divide ka, nag ka doon sa kabila ng 2, mag-divide ka rin dito sa right side of the equation ng 2. Then, makakancel. Then, x squared is equals to 32 divided by 2 equals 16. Okay, magkapariyo na sila. Therefore, magiging x is equals to plus or minus the square root of 16 then x is equals to 
plus or minus anong number yung ni times natin sa kanilang sarili ang sagot ay 16 yes that is 4 and magiging x sub 1 natin is equals to positive 4 and x sub 2 is equals to negative 4 ok ayan ok i-checking natin from the original equation to x squared minus 32 is equals to 0 if x is equals to positive 4 ibig sabihin palitan natin yung x ng 4 then 2 open at saka close parenthesis ipasok yung 4 then 2 then minus 32 is equals to 0 then 2 then dalawang 4 na yung times 4 times 4 equals 16 then minus 32 is equals to 0 then 2 times 16 is equals to 32 minus 32 minus 32 is equals to 0 then 32 minus 32 is equals to 0 is equals to 0 correct ibig sabihin tama yung ating roots or yung value ng ating variable na 4 ok kapag yung x naman natin is equal to negative 4 ganun pa rin yung gagawin natin sa checking negative 4 yung, yung x doon palitan natin ng negative 4 magiging 2 then open sa so close parenthesis ipasok yung negative 4 then squared minus 32 is equal to 0 then 2 dalawang 4 dalawang negative 4 negative 4 times negative 4 equals positive 16 minus 32 is equals to 0 then 2 times 16 is equals to 32 minus 32 is equals to 0 and 0 is equals to 0 yes it is correct now one of the value of variable x is negative 4 ok number 3 x squared minus 10 is equals to 6 anong number na kapag itayos mo sa kanilang sarili at bawasan mo siya ng 10 ang sagot ay 6 ok ganun pa rin yung gagawin natin i-transpose natin yung negative 10 from left side of the equation to the right side of the equation magiging x squared is equals to 6 yung ano naman yung sign ng 10 na negative magiging positive then 10 then x squared is equals to 16 okay again nandun siya sa form na x squared is equals to k kaya magiging x is equals to plus or minus square root of 16 then x is equals to plus or minus 4 then x sub 1 is equals to 4 or x is equals to negative 4 ok yan na ang answer ok hindi na natin kailangan i-check kasi ganoon pa rin yung kanina ganyan pa rin yung nakaray pa rin tayo sa ganyan x squared is equals to positive 16 Okay, that's all for today. I-continue na lang natin. Or pag-aralan uli natin yung factoring. Dahil mahaba na yung ating video. Hindi na ma-upload. Mahirap na i-upload. Okay, kung nagustuhan mo yung ating, ano, ating video, pakilike, subscribe, and share.